Hello everyone and welcome to my first Elden Ring video. I'm not in a habit of making videos for Elden Ring or other games actually, but uh, this boss gave me so much trouble. He deserved his own video. And the worst part is he's not even a boss. He's actually just a very powerful mob. If you played Elden Ring, you might have already encountered him. It's the Draconic Tree Sentinel at the crumbling farm Azula. And you may have tried to fight him already and come to realize that he's got this bullshit lightning attack that he pretty much just spams all the time until you're dead. So I had a lot of trouble with this boss. Uh, melee didn't really work for me. Rage didn't really work for me. And then I read online that he was susceptible to poison and rot and I figured that's gonna be how I do it. Poison arrows and rot pots. So I gave that a good try. I think I spent about four hours on this guy. And I'm really questioning my life choices here. But I eventually got him down anyway. And that's this clip that I wanted to put on. It's a short video, kept it as short as possible. Considering how short this fight is, it's a bit sad I spent four hours on him. I actually spent longer on this guy than I did on Melania, Blade of Michaela. But we're gonna get into this fight and I'm gonna try and guide you through his phases and calling out when he starts doing what. So I chose to go with the serpent bow with poison arrows and I got a few rot pots ready. I allocated all of my flask into health except for one uh, into, into mana and as far as talismans go uh, the most important ones that I am using right now is the one that gives me extra stamina regen, the, the, the turtle talisman. I have the one that mitigates lightning damage which is uh, pretty much a must in this fight. And I also have the one that gives me extra healing on my healing flasks. And that is also a must uh, if you want to heal through his lightning attacks. I will elaborate on that later in the video. And I went for light equipment so I could roll better, seeing as it's his lightning attack that usually kills me, not his melee. So starting off here, gonna get those two or three poison arrows in, and that will proc the poison. And as you can see, that starts sticking away at his health really quickly. And this is one of the things that maybe people struggle on, is the fireballs. The fireballs are actually easy, you can dodge those very easily. And in the first phase, he will do that maybe three, four, sometimes even five times in a row. But that is my opportunity here to get those poison arrows in. Don't roll backwards for the fireballs because you will roll into it. And I just keep spamming those poison arrows as I jump. It took me about 170 hours into this game before I learned that you could jump and shoot an arrow at the same time. Yes, jump shotting is real in Elden Ring. And you just want to keep uh, doing this routine, dodging his attacks, getting those poison arrows in and letting them tick away at his health for his first phase. And around 5500 health, I think that's around 60% of his health left, he's going to start his second phase. And that's when he summons his lightning stuff and that's when the fight starts getting trickier. I want to save as many health pots as I can for that part. And I haven't used any rot pots so far yet because there are also uh, intervals in his health where he just eliminates all of the dots that he has on them for some reason or they just uh, happen to always stop on that same point but I think it's a mechanism. So I'm saving those rot pots for when he enters his second phase. And there he's going at 5500 damage. Yep, he's summoning his lightning and he's starting right away with his lightning strike. I didn't expect it there. Uh, and I got one rot pot in. You need to get in two rot pots to have the scarlet rot proc. Uh, one is not going to be enough. And once you get that second one in, as you can see the damage has stopped. And now it's starting to tick again. And now I just want to get those poison arrows again in to start proccing. So I'm going to need two or three. But he's not going to shoot as many fireballs anymore now. He's just going to do one or two at most. Uh, usually he does one fireball and then he switches over to his lightning attack. And the lightning attack he can do two times in a row sometimes, it's rare but it happens. In his final phase he's gonna do that lightning attack multiple times in a row and you need to be ready for it then. But you just want to keep dodging his melee attacks. Those melee attacks, if you roll away twice, those are your moments that you can heal. But just be ready when he does that lightning attack. When he pulls his arm back down, that's actually the cue that you need to dodge him. But it's a very small window of opportunity that you have to dodge it. And I swear in that last phase, he actually he actually trolls you. It's like he does two lightning strikes there. 
Um, and it's actually almost impossible to dodge them. And you can see that health ticking away. And he's about to enter his third phase when he gets really, really low there. And now he starts spamming those lightning attacks like back to back. You see three times already in a row. That's when you know he's in his final phase. At least I think it's final phase. I'm not an expert on these games. But uh, after four hours, you, you tend to have a theory about stuff. And now it's just a matter of surviving. And like I said, you want to heal through those lightning attacks sometimes instead of trying to dodge them. Because it's going to be impossible to dodge them it's three times in a row. And the two talismans to mitigate uh, electrical damage and to increase the health pots are actually going to allow me to heal more than that I take damage. It's not perfect, but it's better than taking two lightning strikes in a row and dying. Well, now I can take the lightning strike, heal through it, and be left with more health than if I had taken just the damage and not healed. So that's where you need to make a decision from, am I going to roll and dodge the lightning attack, or if I'm just going to heal through it? And that's why you want to have a lot of health potions for that final phase. And with a little bit of patience, you will eventually get him down. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope it helps people who are struggling with this fight. I know this was probably the most challenging fight I had in Elden Ring up until this point. And this was my first playthrough. Last tip, if you think you're going to cheese him from the stairs with the poison arrows, that's not going to work. He is going to lightning strike you sooner or later and knock you off the stairs. So just try to fight him heads on uh, on the balcony. Thanks for watching and see you all next time. Bye.